when they ain't had a ball. He's talking sporty. When the high he felt, why can't stop? We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the New York Giants. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Now Jones. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Throwing Jones. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Operating from the gun. Jones, the 20, no, they pull me back. and all the way in, touchdown, New York, Darius Slayton, 47 yards, and the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. So with the missed PAT in his rear view mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. Looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Dexter Lawrence that time in on the stop. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. sets up to throw it. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas got it. 63 yards. And the Eagles are now just an extra point away from grabbing the lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. And for them a touchdown their last go around. Obviously they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Here's second and a yard. Looking to throw, Jones. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The 2017 All-Pro Darius Slay there in coverage, knocking it away. I spotted man coverage on the outside. I expect we'll see a lot of that from this defense as this game moves on. And that was a good job there as that one was knocked away. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Saquon Barkley, a man who played collegiately here in the Keystone State. And yeah, this will be a Giants first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley, and another first and ten here. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally Tense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. A throw for Galladay is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Steven Nelson. What a start defensively. I mean, your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7 zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Hurts to throw. Flushed out right, and he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. to six. They'll 
Fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is up to eight. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. And this one is incomplete. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. Back to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. First down and much more here for Jones. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. to throw. Jones going for it all. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it. Could not hold on through the end of the play. From the 21, it's second and 10. Throwing again. Jones. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Jones. Open man is Galladay complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Facing this big first half deficit, they keep the field goal unit on the sideline. They're going for it. Jones throwing on fourth down. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. There he goes right side. The 40. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30.
Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. The tackle there by the safety, Xavier McKinney. Second down at five. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll set up to throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. Touchdown! Dallas Goddard. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles had six to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Yeah. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. Jones now throwing on first down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. From the gun, Jones. This throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. And now it's third down. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Jones. He's going to air one out. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gain on his sights, but he could not reel it in. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They're going to try and throw. And Ingram hauls it in. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. They'll look to throw again. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts 
as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Again, he'll drop to throw. And a big loss here. 